James Pack loved his two dogs like they were family. And when a sudden life-changing situation occurred, he was left with only one heartbreaking option. The thought of losing these two was unbearable, but then something awful happened that would change their lives forever. Would James ever get to see his beloved dogs again? And why did the staff not let him pay for them? Welcome to Wonderbot Animals. Everyone loves dogs. And how could we not? They are the happiest and most amazing creatures on the planet. They give you unconditional love and, in return, all they ask for is a little affection. Dogs can also sense your emotions and when they do, they slowly approach you with their paws, placing their head on your lap and ask, Are you okay, master? And with a little pampering, they can take away all the sadness. James Pack loved his two dogs, Blaze and Bailey, more than anything in the world. But a heart attack changed his life. Due to his health problems, he realised that it would be very difficult for him to take care of his dogs. Not even the help of his family was enough, and he, unfortunately, was forced to give them up for adoption. He contacted the Municipal Pound and the local support centre. But the question of what would happen to Blaze and Bailey was still on Pack's mind. Just when he was losing all hope in the world, life opened another door for him. After being diagnosed with heart disease, Pack knew that life would never be the same for him and that sooner or later he would lose everything he loved. But James Pack was a brave man, as we will discover. But due to his increasing health problems, he was starting to lose all hope. The light in his eyes was getting darker and he prayed that a miracle would occur so that he would be able to stay and live with his dogs. He didn't know it, but there was someone listening attentively to all his prayers. James Pack was in the Navy, and after completing his service in Vietnam, he returned to his hometown to follow other dreams. Pack decided to study construction management and, after completing his studies, set out to find his dream job in the construction industry. He was aware of his heart disease, but he still wanted to continue with this work. When his condition worsened, he quit his construction job and became a driver, which afforded him a calmer routine. Pack never thought in his life that he would have a pet until he met Blaze. The Labrador Pit Bull mix was only eight weeks old when Pack held him for the first time. Immediately, he knew that Blaze was different from other dogs. Looking into Blaze's small eyes, he realised that they both needed each other in their lives. From day one, the two were inseparable. Blaze turned out to be the perfect addition to Pack's family. A year later, Pack received a call from the adoption centre from where he had adopted Blaze. The woman at the adoption centre wanted to see if Pack was ready for another adoption. At first, he wasn't sold on the idea of adopting another dog, but he went anyway. As soon as he entered, he saw a beautiful newborn puppy trying to get out of his small box. Pack changed his mind and decided to give Blaze a friend. This was Bailey. Who would have thought that this sweet, happy family would be devastated years later? One day, everything changed. Pack had a heart attack, which left him unconscious for days, after which he opened his eyes to find himself in a hospital room. Eventually, he was brought home. The first thing he asked on his return was, where are the dogs? But they were not there. To make things worse, this discovery dangerously increased his heart rate. The doctors later told him that they had asked a local animal rights organisation to take care of the two dogs until he recovered. Pack was relieved, but he was still worried about them. He was sure that he would be fine after a few days, but life had planned something completely different for him. Even after five days, Pack showed no improvement and, as a result, he was unable to get Blaze and Bailey back. When, three weeks later, the people at the dog care centre asked the doctors for updated information regarding Pack's condition, the news was not encouraging at all. The doctors said that Pack had contracted an infection and that his condition did not seem to be improving, everything indicating that his recovery was uncertain. They asked questions about Blaze and Bailey as Pack continued to inquire about them. The news was grim. 
animal control agencies were also in a difficult situation. Blaze and Bailey had been away from their owner for weeks and Pac couldn't bear it any longer. The agencies knew about Pac's situation but were unable to take any action. They decided that Blaze and Bailey needed a new home. We don't know what is harder to bear, a heart attack or the loss of your pets. But what we do know is that both things hurt a person deeply. As if the separation wasn't enough for Pac, more bad news knocked on his door. One morning, Pac noticed that the left side of his body was paralysed. The night before, he had felt a little better and had asked the doctor if he could call the animal centre the next morning since he missed his dog so much. But now he couldn't move at all. Pac knew this would make the conversation difficult for both parties, but he would still try. Although it was very difficult for the staff at the animal center to understand what Pac was saying, they listened to him. They knew he was asking about Blaze and Bailey. They told him that the dogs were well cared for and that they were still with them. Pac was very relieved after hearing this and said that he would return soon to pick up his dogs. The attendants were trying to keep Blaze and Bailey calm while he recovered. Anticipation was making the man impatient. He was glad to think that the two dogs were safe, but were they really? Before we continue with this story, like this video to help it reach 14k likes, share and subscribe to this channel. Pack had been in the hospital for more than three months. It was a long time to be away from his pets. As he prepared to meet Blaze and Bailey again, he kept thinking about the possibility that they might have forgotten about him or wouldn't recognize him. It was hard to say who missed the other more, Pack or the dogs. After arriving at the shelter, Pack discovered that his animals were no longer there. He was very scared and waited for the shelter staff to tell him the current location of his animals. It turned out that Blaze and Bailey had been moved to PetSmart, an adoption shelter. But Pack didn't know if they were still there or had been adopted. With high hopes, Pack went to PetSmart to retrieve his dogs. He informed the staff of the situation. The staff were so moved by the story that they decided to help Pack reunite with his dogs. It was an emotional reunion, Carruthers said. I was delighted and the dogs were delighted to see their owner. It was extremely emotional. Everyone cried. Pack was ready to take Blaze and Bailey home. Then he realized that he had no home since all of his savings had gone towards three months worth of hospital bills and he had lost his job. But thanks to his hard work, he would eventually find a place to keep his dogs. Initially, he had planned to live in his car with his dogs because it would have been easier. But now he was more than happy. He had his dogs with him and a house to live in. But the happiness did not last long. He still had to pay for his dogs. Life was sometimes cruel. PetSmart is an organization that allows dogs to be adopted, and Blaze and Bailey's adoption price was $210, a large sum for Pac. Somehow, he managed to raise some money, but he was still a bit short. He asked PetSmart to keep all the money he had and promised to pay the rest when he got a job. But all he got was rejection. This was a ruthless world, and he felt it unfair that he could not keep his own dogs. Pac left the store with tears in his eyes, but he was still determined to find a way to get Blaze and Bailey back. He just couldn't bear the thought of losing them, but kept looking for a way out of this situation. The memory of their reunion was still fresh in his mind, and Blaze and Bailey's little faces kept appearing in his thoughts. As he sat in his car, the idea of selling it occurred to him. He was about to sell his car to a scrapyard when something extraordinary came into his hands. Day after day, with no solution in sight, Pack was growing impatient. He visited the church and prayed for the return of his dogs, and it seemed that God felt his pain and that things were about to change for Pack. Thinking he had enough money, Pack returned to the centre and asked for his dogs back but they refused to accept the money and told him it was still not enough. Pack was completely exhausted at this point. He had lost all hope and thought it was all over. He cried and pleaded in front of the staff, his voice breaking as he asked why he couldn't have his dogs back. After going through so much pain, things didn't make sense anymore. 
He stayed there, in front of them, his hands pleading as he waited for his dogs to look at him. He was sure this was the end. It seemed like the staff were heartless, but there was another side to the story. Some understood the pain Pack was going through and explained to him that he would actually get all of his money back. He was surprised to hear this. But how? They told him about a woman at the shelter, Melissa Eagle, who was willing to help. Realising that the veteran couldn't afford to get the dogs back from them, the store lowered the price. He couldn't believe what he was hearing and the only thing he could do was wait. When Melissa Eagle became involved in the story, he thought he would find other people like her willing to help. And there she was, Chris Malik, who ended up covering it all up. That's not all. People also helped Pac get other resources he needed to move forward in life. Pac stood in front of the counter and looked at his dog supplies. There were toys, candy, gift cards and food. All of this has been done by volunteers from various shelters. Pac began to cry and felt joy in his heart again. It was as if Christmas and New Year had arrived at the same time. Pac was obviously surprised by this turn of events and forgot everything bad that had happened to him in the last three months. From the moment Pac arrived at the store, he was recorded. They recorded everything. All this made Pac feel so happy that he hugged all the people who were there. Imagine the moment, after Melissa Eagle posted the video online, she had another idea to help Pac even more. He created a GoFundMe page. In just two days, they raised more than $7,000. What an amazing story with a happy ending. Have you ever gone above and beyond for your pet? How would you continue to look after your beloved pets if you fell into a similar situation? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell for more amazing stories. We'll see you next time.